What's up, everyone? This is all Destroyer 229, and welcome back to Let's Play SpongeBob SquarePants Battle for Bikini Bottom. Last time, we got a brand new ability after taking down Robo Patrick. And that also means. We got this! Oh wow, actually destroys the stone tiki's as well. So yes, we got ourselves a brand new ability, and we opened up the rest of Bikini Bottom. In this episode, I mentioned that we would go and do SpongeBob's dream, but since I looked through here, um, it's labeled as the third thing to do. And I would rather not have a, re a repeat of the Mermelair. So let's actually go and do this in some sort of sequential order. And today, we are going to jump into the Kelp Forest. So let's go. Here we are in the Kelp Forest, an interesting area with many sights to see, for those that don't get hopelessly lost first. Great, another dark area. That's fantastic. Oh, jeez. These guys are gonna be fun. Alright, so it seems like we have quite a bit of an area, though. Plenty of goo as well. Jellyfish. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. I think that's goo underneath me, too. Wow, this is actually kind of hard to see. Okay. So going down here, this is going to be rather interesting to deal with. There's also seven socks, so that's also going to be slightly problematic. All right, well, whatever. Plenty of shush tikis to try to take out. And plenty of shiny objects to get as well. Let's see, so there's this way that I can go over there. Fireflies. And a tent with Mrs. Puff. Does this actually take me back to... Yes, actually, it just takes me back to the beginning. Well, that's good to know. Wait, maybe that wasn't water. Then what was... Ah, whatever. Hi, Mrs. Puff. Driving class isn't out here today, is it? Uh, no, SpongeBob. Why, why do you say that? Do you think we'd have class out here just to hide from you? <laughs> How silly. I'm just, uh, gathering twigs for the winter. Yes, that's it. Oh, can I help? I have a merit badge in twig gathering. Actually, you can help with something else. These robots showed up and scared all the students, I mean, uh, campers, off into the forest. Before the ranger arrives, someone needs to go out and find them. I'll help you find them, Mrs. Pop. I'm the sponge for the job. Thanks, SpongeBob. I'll make sure to give you a nice reward when you found all of them. Okay, so it looks like we're actually trying to rescue all of these quote-unquote campers. Ah, what's in here? Port ahead? Wah! Where's that taking me? Okay, it's just a... It's just a porta potty then? Seems kind of weird why that would be anything special. Ah! Okay, those guys are gonna be a problem, but thankfully We have a brand new ability that can very easily take them out Um What the heck Do they How on earth Am I supposed to take them out? They're not close enough for the explosion. Maybe that's just not how I was supposed to take them out then. Seemed kind of weird, but okay. 
So I guess I'm supposed to just play a game of jump rope with them. Uh, ow. Oh, it's you. Okay, well, I can very easily take care of you from a distance. You look like you're on a slope. So yeah, I couldn't exactly bubble bowl him. I can bubble bowl him from here, though. <laughs> oh, he didn't see me coming. Okay. Go ahead and just take them out and then take away the duplicator tron. And we've already reached the spatula. All right, then. One thing I really don't like is how the sound effects just suddenly just cut in. I've been wanting to do something about that, but the options don't exactly help me. I mean, sound effects volume, but that also seems to be literally everything. At least I think that's everything. If that's not, then please tell me and I will change that as soon as possible. Because goodness gracious do I know how annoying that is with the stupid waterfall. Okay, well, going over here, we have a platform. Ah, this is where our new ability comes in handy. Alright, so what does that do? Pushing a simple button is the most satisfying. Push, 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 push. It gives us some new ways to go. Okay. And coincidentally, that brings us back over here. Okay. Uh... Still haven't seen a bus stop so I can switch over to Patrick. Hey, I found a camper! Except he's still just... He's kind of gonna be there. Hmm, and I can't do anything else without Patrick. Alright, well what does this switch do? Okay, I find it interesting that it showed me that before I even hit the button, but okay. Let's see what's over here. I'm pretty sure I saw someone down that way before. Um, was there someone down there? Maybe that was just a jellyfish. Oh, there's my freaking bus stop. All right, let's hit the switch. That raises that plant. Where exactly am I going? I don't know, but we're having an adventure. Uh-oh. Ooh, just barely made that. All right, so hit that, and that brings that up. Seriously, what? Uh, what exactly is this all? Oh, just for a camper. Okay. Wait, then what? Hmm. It seemed weird because it seemed like that there was like an area that I was at before where it had like Yeah, this sort of effect. I thought that was where there was goo. Oh well, whatever. Go ahead, grab this. Ah! Okay, this is gonna be impossible with Patrick to do at all. Okay, so what exactly can I do with Patrick in this area? Um, so that's where one of the campers was. I can do this. What exactly will this do? Um, okay. That extends a trampoline. Okay. Well, that explains that, so that way I can actually get back up with this. Okay, simple enough. Where is this going to take me? Checkpoint and another fruit. Alright, let's go. Grab this fruit because we're probably going to need it. For what? I don't know. Wait. I can't make that. Ow. Oh, but I can just throw it. Ugh. 
I didn't realize I could actually throw it that far. Dang it. Oh, well. Not too difficult. Just need to head back. Grab this. Just go and go over this way. Go and go and go. And here we are. All right. This takes us to a robot who didn't stand a chance. And more importantly, a camper. Um, where else can I go? I can try to get that. And fail because the platform freaking moved. All right. Can I just jump down from here? Yes, actually. All right, well, let's head into the kelp swamp then. This area is not the most easily nav navigatable. You can't very easily navigate this place because it's so freaking dark. I know that there have been other dark areas in the game before, but... I don't know, this one just seems a little different. Hi, Mr. Krabs. What are you doing here? Ahoy, Patrick. I'm trying to return three stone tiki's to this pedestal so I can get to the kelp cave across that bridge. There could be customers in there. I saw three tiki's scattered around this area, but my old brain couldn't figure out how to get them back up here. Can I try? Sure, why not? I need a good laugh. There's a golden spatula up there for you if you succeed. Oh boy, Mr. Krabs. I'll see what I can do. Alright, so we need to get stone tiki's. Okay, so we go over there. So there are apparently different stone tiki's just scattered throughout the area. Ow, oh, and that will just... I guess that just resets the stone tiki's. Oh, alright then. Let me actually test something real quick. All right, well, I know that I said that I would, like, see if you guys had anything to say about it, but, eh, robots. But I just went and checked. The sound effects is literally everything. So, yeah, the waterfall, people talking, any sort of jumping animation, anything that isn't explicitly music counts. Which kind of sucks. Because I do think that the... Ah, oh, crap. Because I do think that the voice volume is good. It's just freaking... The random sound effects like the waterfall. Waterfalls in particular just are really freaking loud. For no real good reason. And it's not even like that it slowly gets louder as you approach. It's just suddenly it's loud. Just take one step away. And suddenly it's like the waterfall is not even there. All right, so let's maybe try to hit that guy. No. How am I supposed to get... Wait a minute. Well, I was going to do this. Ha-ha! Um, does that actually do anything for me, though? I see a jellyfish. I see some health. And I can completely miss. Ugh. This is going to be extremely annoying. I might want to come back to this at another time. Because, honestly, I'm getting a little sick of this area might be the waterfalls that are also starting to get to me, but seriously, it's just really hard to see any of the platforms. And it's hard to gauge distance as well, because of that. Hmm. Let me try just looking at a different spot in this area. Can I even do anything? I'm not even sure I can. Hi, Mr. Krabs. SpongeBob, help me find Patrick. 
I have a task that I think he can help me with. Um, I don't think I can really get. No, I can get back. But again, it's just really freaking hard to see. Because I can see an enemy right there, but it's also really hard to gauge any sort of distance. Uh, I could understand if the kelp forest was just really... Like, maze-like. But this is just kind of ridiculous. Because not only is it maze-like, it's just really freaking dark and hard to see anything. Okay, I mean, there's a freeze fruit down that way. Yeah, and there's no way I can make that jump. Ugh. Let me adjust the brightness on my own side, and maybe that will make a difference. Hold up. Okay, well, I've adjusted the brightness on my TV, so hopefully that this makes a little bit of a difference. It looks weird, but at the very least, I can, it's, I can see. Also, I realize that I can just do this. And that way I can take him out with Patrick. Okay, so hopefully, where else could I potentially go from here? There's here. And then there's this freezy fruit. I am honestly surprised that he made that jump. Okay, so what does that do? That unlocks a golden spatula. Hey, what the? Oh, that was really freaking weird. And, yeah, now everything's just kind of freaking out. <laughs> okay, there's a Thunder Tiki over there. Here's my spatula. So at least we accomplished something. Alright, is there anything else of worth that's over here? Like maybe a sock or something? Random Thunder Tiki right there. That's not exactly a place that I can traverse up. I'm also about to run out of time. <laughs> and, wow. Suddenly the water just froze. Now where am I? Oh, I'm up here. Okay, that didn't... That at least brings me back over this. Way. Maybe this is where one of the stone tiki's are. Maybe. Damn it. Okay, made it up here. Ah. So then there are these exploding freaking robot dogs. Okay, if I could maybe. Yeah, it worked. And he comes over. Here and then I can just beat him up. All right, so where exactly does this really do for me? It's not exactly a way that I can get up or anything. Um, here's a checkpoint. Are you a camper? Hey, a camper! So there's that. But it doesn't seem like this led to any stone tiki. That seemed like the key. Oh, wait. Aha! Ah. Okay. Wait, how? How? Oh, there we are. Oh, this is going to be glorious. Oh, this is going to be absolutely glorious. Um, not exactly. Well, like, go down here. Damn it! Oh, this is going to be such a pain. Such a pain. 
Well, let's see if we can try to bring this stone tiki back. Ooh, actually, maybe this isn't as complicated as I thought it was. Maybe. Ha ha! Okay, so that wasn't as bad as I thought it would be. Okay, thank goodness for that. And I do have this box, which brings me back here in case I do need to do that again. Okay, so that's not going to be as bad. But what I do need is some way... Well, there's still the last stone cube that I need to find. Which I have no idea how to reach. Or where it is. Um, is there anything that I could potentially do? Maybe if I go down here. Maybe. Maybe. Maybe if I don't screw it up, and I probably will. <laughs> well, at least I called it. Belly ball! <laughs> Alright, got him, and then there's you, which you are very easily killable. <laughs> Alright, so what does this clam do? Opens the gate! Alright. Um. Oh! A hook! Well, there's a camper over here. So we're only missing one camper now, which is nice. We're still missing a stone tiki though, and that's not so nice. Um, please tell me that it's over in this direction and I'm not just wasting my time because I'm Patrick. I mean, there's fruit up here, which leads me to believe that there's something else of worth up here. Okay, grab this. Oh, I cannot reach it from there. <laughs> um, is there anything over that way? No, it's just a jellyfish. That's where that was. There's a sock up that way. But I can go over here. And belly flop! Ha <laughs> ha! Oh... Okay, now where do I go? Well, that explains the Thunder Tiki. That still doesn't explain where exactly it is that I need to go. Maybe it is over here. I'm going to be scared on how to get this stupid thing back. Um, maybe it's not over here. I mean, there's one of the socks. I need a bungee. Hmm. I still have no idea where this last stone tiki could be, though. Maybe if I make a leap of faith down here? That doesn't really help me, though. Now I'm stuck. Oh, well, at least I survived. Does that at least give me a way back up? Okay, well, that's nice. Still have absolutely zero idea where it is I'm supposed to go, though. And I'm not even sure I can make it back. Nope! I have no idea what I was floating on right there. Wait, where does that... Where does that... Where am I? Where did it take me? Oh, up here. What's this? A low road? Um... Gosh, these really stupidly precise platforms. And the only reason I can see what I'm doing is because I upped the brightness on my TV to the maximum.
Okay. So what else... Where else have I not been? That is something that I need to figure out. Aha! Up here! I haven't been up here! And there's my last stone tiki. Ah, no! Damn it! Well, at least I found it. Okay, so grab it, take this, and run. <laughs> okay, uh... Damn it. Okay, so that gets that. Then I can take this stone tiki and put it over. Um. Fudge that up. Let's try that again. I can take this tiki and put it over here. And then I can get into my secret box. To get this one. Alright, now I have to make sure I don't screw this one up. <laughs> Damn it! Okay, I've got a simpler idea. Please tell me. Son of a bitch! Please work, please work, please work, please work, please work, please work. This isn't gonna work, is it? So shiny. Wait a minute, this is slightly different. I probably shouldn't be out exploring something different. Considering I what it is I'm trying to do. Let's check what this button does. You mean to tell me I've been doing that the hard way every single time? Damn it! Okay! Well, that was dumb. I've been doing this the absolute wrong way. God freaking dang it. Ah! I thought it was weird that it had to be so precise. How perfect I had that have that jump to be. And it turns out there was an easier way. It was just going down a side path. Okay, well, whatever. Let's go ahead. We'll bring the stone tiki down that way. And we can end this madness. Okay, take this, throw it over there. And then we can take this and throw it over here. And that activates that holy crap that took a lot longer than it really should have but we get up here and we claim us another golden spatula and we're being attacked so with that nonsense taken care of I do believe we are going to call it a day here. So, as we get away from the stupid 
That is weird that there is sky down there. Next time on Let's Play SpongeBob SquarePants Battle for Bikini Bottom. I'm going to go check out that bungee area that we have available to us. Since now that we actually have an easier way of reaching that, it's probably going to be, well, less painful to really de delve into that. We'll then continue our exploration through the kelp forest where hopefully it's not as lucrative as this stupid puzzle was. Not difficult to figure out, just a pain in the ass to execute. So until next time, everyone, take care.